Hey guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to animate handwriting in Anime Studio. A user by the name of Good Stuff asked me to do this on YouTube, so I'm going to give it a try. And you can see I have a picture of a pencil and a notebook right here. And I also typed up a sentence in Illustrator. It uh, says, this tutorial is awesome. Or at least I hope you guys think it is. And... Uh, We'll start off by creating a new vector layer and calling it mask. And then we need to go to the freehand tool, which looks like this pencil right here, and select freehand options and just make sure the variable line width is set to none and the taper start and taper end are both turned off. And I'm going to leave the smoothing at this third notch. So let's click in here. Oops, undo and I just have the auto stroke turned on and that's it up here. So we'll zoom in to our sentence that we want to write and basically we're just going to draw while holding the uh, left mouse button uh, we're going to create one single stroke over the entire thing and I'm going to try and trace it kind of like I would write write it. So um, just trying to uh, stay over the letters. Don't worry if you miss some of the um, letters. You can see some of them, parts of the uh, tops and bottoms are exposed, but we can uh, fix that after we do this trace. So like that pretty hard to do. You probably can do this a lot easier if you had a pen tool, a uh, Wacom tablet, but I don't have one. So I'm drawing this with a mouse and Ooh. oops, <laughs> hand kind of slipped right there. That's all right. It's still good, still good. And there it is. So after we have um, our entire uh, sentence trace, I'm going to hit T and click on the canvas to deselect and then just move just specific points like that and cover up everything. If you have thicker um, uh, writing that you want to have uh, up here, just make the uh, stroke thicker with the uh, width tool, which is W. Oh, this is a little crazy right here. It's okay. And this won't be perfect. It's just going to be an example of how to do this. Okay. So now that we have the stroke covering up everything, for the most part, like that, we will go to uh, frame one, and we're going to select the uh, stroke exposure tool and then click on your uh, stroke and then we'll just uh, click and left drag and keep doing that until we get all the way to the beginning okay and then we'll go to oh select the keyframes and then right click and select uh, linear this is just gonna make the uh, pencil follow the stroke easier and then we'll go to frame 240 and we'll do the opposite just left click and drag to the right and make sure everything is covered and then also select the end key frames right click and click linear on that also so now what we're gonna do is create a group layer oops make sure you're on frame 0 when you do this uh, go to the layers create group and then we're going to drag the mask and the uh, text into the uh, group layer and make sure the mask is on the bottom and we'll double click the group layer the folder click masking hide all and apply and hit OK it's not going to do anything well, it's actually hidden the text behind this. Um, but then we have to double click the mask layer 
go into masking one more time and then click add to, or add to mask but keep invisible and click apply and OK. So now what this is going to do is if I go to frame one, you don't see anything. But if I drag through the timeline, it looks like uh, it's being written or being drawn. The sentence is, <laughs> I can't talk, I'm really tired. OK, cool. So that worked. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to duplicate the mask layer and move it above the group. I tried using the, the mask layer for the pencil movement too, but it didn't time out right. So we're just uh, copying the whole stroke and with, that, with it selected, hit W and left click and drag so it just disappears like that. And let's move the pencil layer up to the top also. And on the pencil, while we have the pencil selected, go ahead and hit the um, set origin. And I'm going to set the origin right to the tip of the pencil. And I already did that. But you can see that little uh, pink cross. That just means that's where the pivot point is now. So um, with the pencil selected, we'll go ahead and select this button, which is follow path. And we're going to select uh, the path. I don't, I don't know why this does this, but um, for some reason, uh, I think it's because I scaled it down. Move the layer way off to the side. So we're just going to take the layer, uh, manipulate uh, transform layer tool, and move it back over here. And let's see, select the uh, follow path tool and let's go to frame one and then change the percentage to zero. So it's at the starting point. That means it's going to be right at the beginning of the T. Move it a little bit over. Oops. trying to figure out where that's pretty close right there okay so now on frame one I'm just gonna click on it I'm gonna right click the keyframe and hit linear and then we're gonna go down to frame 240, which is where our animation ends, and click on the follow uh, path tool again, and then we'll just type in 100 up here, and it should end at the same spot. So now, let's see if that worked. Yep, now the pencil is following the path also, and oh, need to select that last keyframe and select linear and then it should follow the trace a little better it's not perfect but it's fast enough to where it looks it looks right so it looks like it's writing cool so we're about done I mean that we are done I just um, I found a pencil sound so I'm gonna turn that on and then I'm also going to do one more thing. Since I have the origin set for the pencil on the tip, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go to frame one again. And I'm going to select the manipulate or transform layer. And I'm just going to click on the rotation uh, of the pencil and just rotate it just a little bit. And with the uh, rotation keyframe selected, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to hit noisy. And I'm going to turn the scale up to about eight. 
And basically this is just going to make the pencil move up and down a little bit more instead of just being just a static picture moving up and down with the trace. So let's take a look at that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, that pencil sound ends at the 240 mark also, so I'm just going to select the audio and double click on its layer properties and hide it after that and apply and that'll just stop the audio after that mark too. So I'll go ahead and render this out and we'll take a look at it. Okay, here's the uh, final render. there it is. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, just uh, let me know below. Thanks.